Hello guys, welcome to job ready training and placements. So I have a candidate with me and I'm going to discuss few questions with him. The questions are related to constructors in Java. Okay, so let's start with first question. Uh, can you tell me what is meant by constructor in Java? Uh, what is meant by constructor in Java? Constructors are used to create objects of classes. So if you have a class and you want to instantiate that uh, instantiate an object of the class, then you can use constructor. So constructors are basically used to create objects from the classes and always constructors are invoked with the new keyword. So that is constructor. That's great. What is default constructor? Default constructor uh, is the one that does not accept any parameter. If you look at the highlighted part, a uh, new animal, uh, this animal section does not accept any parameter. That means it is a default constructor. Then what is parameterized constructor? Parameterized constructor is when your constructor accepts one or more parameters. Here you can see a new animal is accepting a string dog. Uh, this is accepting one parameter. That means it is a parameterized constructor. Uh, can we overload the constructors? Constructor overloading is possible. You can overload the constructor uh, by either changing the number of parameters or by changing the data types of the parameters. So let's have a look at the example here. We have in the first line, we have animal A equal to new animal and I passed uh, dog to it, which is only one parameter. And in the next line, I am passing uh, the animal name, which is dog, along with the color of the animal, which is black. That means in the first constructor, I'm passing one parameter. In the second constructor, I am passing two parameters. This is known as constructor overloading. And this happens in the same clause. Perfect. Do you have to explicitly return any value from constructor? Uh, no. Compiler returns the reference of the object that gets created when we call the constructor. User of uh, the constructor does not have to return any value explicitly. It is taken care by by the Java and also constructor does not have any return type. So can constructor have a different name uh, than the class name? Constructor uh, must have the same name as the uh, class name. Here you can see we have a class animal and the constructor name is also animal. So the both, both the class name and the constructor name must match. That means it cannot have a name which is different than the class name. So that is a, a rule in Java. Okay, so are there any rules to define the constructor? Uh, there are there are several rules. Uh, we have uh, three rules which are specified here. The first one is constructor must have the same name as the class name, which is which is the first rule. The second rule is where constructor uh, does not have any explicit return type. We do a user does not specify any return type from the constructor. And the third one is constructor cannot be abstract. It cannot be static, uh, or it cannot be final. So these are the uh, three rules uh, of the constructor. While we are writing constructor, we have to follow the rules in Java. Okay. Thank you. Uh, that's all about constructor. Have a nice yes. day. Bye. Thank you. See you in the next video.